Good day ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video of me sketching stuff. Um, today we are sketching yet another fish because I like fish and this is actually a planning for a painting I have to do soon. Um, but we scraped the idea because the client wants a simplistic, simplistic plain background which is cool so I'll use this idea later if I want to make another type of painting of the same um, theme, fish because apparently I really like fish <laughs> um, I used mixed media for this again I basically always just use whatever I can get my hands on and I've got a lot of art supplies so if it's between acrylic, gouache, water paint um, Fabric paint I have a lot of as well that I use and pencils. The pencils I use are a little bit of everything because I have a lot of pencils, some of them since I was like in grade school uh, that I've had and yeah, I just have them all in like this massive container and that is the thing that, that yes. <laughs> okay, I'm not very good at describing things and using words and so I should get some royalty free music I can play while I paint because every year I started getting ready for the rocks or what I wanted to do with the rocks and it was like quick blends um, this was acrylics yes yes acrylic paint uh, sorry about that uh, I don't know if you heard the ding because <laughs> there was an error on my PC but it's nothing serious anyway so stone blending and I didn't want the stones to be too dark but I didn't want them to be too light either and then I just did the, 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 the thing until they were done because it was basically just planning and I still wanted it to look good for my sketchbook though um, and then I need to figure out where to get royalty free music so that I can actually play something interesting while painting stuff and I tried to cut or rotate the video because I'm recording currently with my phone I, I'm getting a new phone hopefully soon um, a better one for recording and then I will be able to get a stand for the phone that you can put above the picture um, as you can see it's all my books and stuff is stacked up to one side to keep the the phone up uh, over here I used a very bristled brush just a heavy big hair brush thing it's hard bristles so it works one it works really well to make that stony texture if you just poke black paint white paint and gold paint over it and it gives it that stony effect which is really cool um, and I'm still figuring out the whole recording and of everything for YouTube so just bear with me for a bit it will get better hopefully soon um, and hopefully I'll get better with words too then because I'm just not oh. I did sec section for section so I'm gonna speed up in a little bit even more I don't know if the speeds I'm using are correct either because I'm just I don't want to speed it up too much but I at least want to speed it up so that you don't get bored and feel like sleeping while watching the video <laughs> and yeah I am doing Inktober I'm going a little bit overboard but you'll see soon enough why I'm saying that because I can't do a challenge without making it extremely difficult for myself yes and then I did more stones um I honestly don't know what to talk about or say. I don't know how people do this. Okay, so. I basically just 
went around the outside with black paint and then put, dipped white in the middle and just blended it into a grey until it made that blendy effect it does there and then I started with the background because I thought that would be the easiest way to start with this piece I don't know I never start the same way I don't have like a set of rules I follow in arting and I just go with whatever feels right that day I guess and yeah I really like the how the stones came out in this though because it's my first time playing around with this type of style actual background stone realistically type thing um, and I am happy with how it turned out Now we have some silence again. <coughs> What's your favorite thing to eat? Leave a comment and then yo. Yeah. Because I like boltong. It's um, basically jerky, just better. It's South African boltong. It's dried meat. It's, that's literally what it is. It's, it's good. Especially if the fat's right. Because if the fat's right, it's like yellow and it's just delicious <laughs> I like food okay I really like food and then um, as you can see probably from my arms poking in here and there I am a tattoo artist um, have been a tattoo artist for I think going on six years now so yeah and my sketchbooks I don't take too seriously because I always have to take my art super seriously because you can't make a mistake in my career you you just <coughs> it's that person's gonna walk around with your art on them for the rest of their lives, so you gotta do whatever you gotta do to make it perfect so my sketchbooks are i go um what do you call it? Like I said, I'm bad with words, but I don't take the sketchbook too seriously. For me, it's just a way to let off some steam, um, get an idea for what I want to do. Just, I don't put as much time and effort into it as I probably should, but I don't want to overwork myself and get tired of it, if you know what I mean. Um, yeah. So that's that. I think over here I got a bit annoyed with all the stones because they just never seem to end. So I was just like, okay, I need to get this done. <laughs> but like, it's very therapeutic to paint the stones. I actually want to do just a page of just stones because I, I I like the look of it. Um, I might do that soon. Probably won't do a video of it, but yeah. So if are you guys participating in Inktober? And if you are, is it exhausting? Because <laughs> it's exhausting for me. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not good with challenges. I either go highly overboard or I just leave it midway, halfway through and just be like, meh, I don't, yeah. Um, I don't know what, how to explain what type of brush. It's very hard bristled brush that I'm using for the texture. It's the only way I know what to call it, I got these brushes when I was still in, when I just started high school, so that's like many, many years ago. And I never liked them because they were so hard. You can't do details without getting that streaky effect. And I like soft bristle brushes, but that, I've got a lot, a lot of these thick bristle brushes. Um, as far as I know, they're pig hair brushes. But this one, the blue brush I use is very soft. Uh, it's like I, th I think it's not even hair, it's just so soft and nice to work with yeah I need to like write stuff down to talk about I mean I could do like story time but honestly my life's not that exciting so I don't know and I'd feel really bad if I tell tales of work on my YouTube channel because yeah t getting a tattoo is an interesting experience <laughs> Um, so for this piece the client brought me a canvas and asked me to paint some fish and I will do a video of that it's a whole bunch of koi just swimming across the, the canvas with a semi plain little water effect background 
which I'm excited for. I think it could look really cool. I'm gonna start that soon. Um, I don't know how long it's gonna take me, so it might come up in a month, it might come up in a week, it might come up in two months, depending on how much time I have to spend on it. Because Inktober is keeping me quite busy, and then I still have a lot of stuff at work I need to do, and um, I'm also gonna start recording a painting I'm already busy with, so it'll be like half a recording, because not half of it's done, but I did like 20% of the painting already but I want to record the rest of it and put it on um, I'll probably put pictures on for the first that because I took pictures as I went along and then I thought that would be pretty cool because I'm starting to paint and sketch things for my living room because it's kind of going to be like this game room oh, breathe so I'm getting excited for that because I've already got maps and stuff up in my living room and I want to get the scene I'm painting is a scene from The Last of Us, best game ever, If you, that, that's my opinion, but The yeah, Last of Us is my favorite game ever. Um, the scene with the, not camels, the long neck giraffe, I always think of them as camels for some reason, but the scene with the giraffes, when the giraffes walk away and they stand on the roof just staring out into the, the messed up city, yeah, that's the scene I'm painting. <laughs> <coughs> and then so <coughs> I'm gonna start recording that as well and I'll upload it as soon as I'm done I'm also gonna be sketching a few portraits because I want to do an employee of the month kind of thing for my favorite games um, of course Jewel and Ali are gonna be up there and then my character from Far Cry and um, the witches, Gerald, I also want up there and then I'll decide as I go along because there are a few games I really like and then a few games that I was okay with and I don't know if I want them on my wall or not. So <coughs> that's going to be happening soon-ish. I don't want to make any promises but soon-ish that's going to happen <laughs> as soon as I get time to actually sit down and do that. I just need to put down the fan fiction for long enough to actually paint my stuff because when it's for someone else, I put a lot of time and effort into it, but as soon as it's for myself, I kind of get over it and I don't want to, because it's for myself, so why <laughs> should I? <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I do that. <coughs> I'm sorry. Like I said, I don't talk a lot, so whenever I talk, I always feel there's something stuck in my throat, and then I have to like clear it 10 billion times, and it's weird, and I'm sorry. And I apologize too much, that I know oh, for sure. Yes, okay. Um, we're almost done with the stones. I experimented with gold paint in this one, like the gold flecks on the stones, and I think I put gold in everything, because... I have a tub of gold paint just lying around and I never use it because I'm afraid to use my art supplies. I know how ridiculous that sounds because I've got like a bucket full of markers that I never use, I've got a bucket full of pencils I never use, I've got a fancy tray of pencils I never use because I'm afraid to use them because I'm afraid I'm going to mess up too much and I'm going to waste the ink and I'm going to waste the graphite and then I'm going to not have it anymore but really I need to use it because it's it's the markers are drying out first off and uh, pencils it's fine I've had them since I was like grade 4 so it's fine I, I, I can get it's anyway time to get new pencils there's so many new brands I've never even tested that I want to try out and I don't want to buy any more until I finish what I have because I've got a ton of art supplies I've collected over the years and just I've always been so afraid to use them which is a ridiculous thing to be afraid of. I mean, being afraid of using your art supplies. <laughs> I'm I'm that person, <laughs> but it's okay. <coughs> I'm okay with being afraid of using my stuff because, yeah. I think I use it as an excuse not to use it, because I I don't want to. I don't know. I'm. I want to improve. But I'm afraid I don't show improvement fast enough, if you know what I mean. I don't know, I'm weird. I'm a weird person. I'm sorry, I ramble a lot too. I've noticed this. Like right now I'm just staring at like a unicorn toy thing here on the floor and I'm just talking to it and it's helping kinda. 
I think. I don't know. I'm still weird. And okay, PC. Nope. Another error. Okay, and now we are. Um, I don't know why I showed you guys shop. Oh, <laughs> the stones are done. That's why I showed shop. <laughs> Yeah, I made a mistake with those water drops, the bubbles. They just did, I I shouldn't have done it with paint and a paintbrush. Um That's me just taking out everything I think I'll need and my gouache. And I poked the page because I think I tried to show you guys the colors I'm using. But that's. I should hold it up longer because I speed up. I didn't take into consideration how much I speed up the video. But I used two shades of green. That's basically the only two shades I have, so. <laughs> I only recently found gouache, so. I don't know how to use it. And I'm not gonna go research how to use it because I don't have an excuse I just I'll figure it out or I'll get frustrated enough one day that I'll actually go and research it it's the same with watercolor I only started using watercolors about a year ago I think maybe two years ago and I still don't know what I'm doing but I'm having fun with it the same with gouache it's been like a couple of months and I really enjoy gouache um, sometimes. Not always. Not always. Okay, but leave a comment if you guys think I should speed up the video even more. If this is still a little bit slow, or if I should... I don't know. I'm gonna get a stand. Something that looks cooler than all the books. I'm sorry, I read a lot, so... I've got stacks of books everywhere and they work for everything it's like no I don't put my coffee on my books that's not something I would be able to live with <laughs> but I do apparently put my phone on it with a um, elastic and my glasses are pushing into my head okay yeah I do the little flowers um, I don't know, I think I made a mistake adding so much gold to it, you'll see now, and not keeping it as lightly valued as possible, because those flowers are actually a very potent white, but I wanted to bring in more of that gold colour, but I'm still happy with how it came out, so you know what, it's fine, it's, it's fine. Um, I think next time I need to figure out a way to record closer to the book as well. But then I need to figure out how I'm going to levitate my phone until I can actually get the stand. <coughs> okay. Gonna be an awkward silence for a while while I think of something to say. I think there is a part where I actually pull out my pencils and show you the tray. It's it's a massive thing. Not massive, it's, it's there's a lot of pencils but I can never find the right colour. <laughs> it's like it's almost this, it's not that, so I have to blend it and then it's like no, it's fine, it's fine. Um but the gold paint I'm using is I think kinda like a fabric paint or an acrylic fabric based type of paint. Um I'm not, I think it's more acrylic. I don't have it in front of me now and it's all the way in the other room and um, if I stand up I have to take the headphones off and go find it and uh, but it's it's acrylic gold paint. And then the white paint I used to mix was also acrylic and the uh, black paint was a fabric paint I think for the flowers. Um, I'm also gonna, when I'm done with the koi painting, I'm gonna take a break from fish because I've been doing a lot of fish lately, like a lot, a lot of fish. And I also want to do a fish mural at work, so it's yet another fish. And I'm getting kind of tired of doing fish. 
I like fish. I do like fish a lot. Because you can do such cute things with fish. And it's I've just been overdoing it lately. Even on top of my sketchbook, I do like fish. So it's, it's, it's an overdose of fish. And I like fish. I like to draw fish. But personally, I don't like fish. I don't eat fish. I don't want fish. I don't care for fish. That's a lot of fish in one sentence. <laughs> um... Okay, I think I'm going to speed up the video where I paint the flower because I think that took a long time. Okay, let me just stop here and do that. Okay, I think you got the last few seconds of the previous <laughs> recording. Um, yes, sorry. As I was saying, I don't have anything against fish. It's just where I grew up, whenever you went fishing it was always a bass or something and people thought it would be funny to like give you a fish and my family is not massive on f I, okay I have nothing against fish I just don't want to fish in my house okay that's that's cool okay <laughs> um, they're fun to look at like if you go to a reserve or something other than that they should stay at the reserve and not I had a fish once Okay, I'm getting way off topic here. No, but I'm still talking about fish and fish are the topic of the video and um Yes. <coughs> Story time. I had a fish once, I fed it every day, it still died. It was a Siamese fighting fish or something. One of those fighting fish with the beautiful long tails and stuff. But I think it could have been a number of things because the container they gave me was kind of small. Um, and they said the fish would be fine because it doesn't need a lot of space and I don't know I, I just think I did everything wrong and the fish didn't make it but the original container I got it in was like in this little you know those little um, plastic containers you usually get your sauces in and it was slightly bigger than that was the way in they stored all the fish and I bought one because I thought you know maybe I can give one a better life than being stuck on the shelf and I couldn't give it a better life because I you know uh, that's a very horrible story to tell I'm sorry but now you know something about me I accidentally couldn't keep the fish alive but I can keep um, succulents alive and aloe vera plants alive I can keep plants alive animals and dogs. I can keep dogs alive. I've had a lot of dogs in my life. Um, fish just don't do it for me. I don't know. See now I'm all quiet again because I don't know what to say anymore and the video is freezing up while I'm talking so the recording is way ahead of what I'm actually seeing here. Yeah, um, last flower I checked my phone and saw that my time was running very short because uh, the battery was dying and there was only so much space on the phone so I started to speed up a bit more than I should have and yeah I still yeah it did the thing it needed to do um I don't know what I'm going to record next. Maybe a bunny? I don't know. I'll see what I feel like drawing. I normally try not to plan too much for my sketchbook. I just sit down, doodle, and then whatever comes out, comes out. If I don't get anything, I usually just Pinterest, find something I like, and draw that. And I don't find anything wrong with that because it's still good practice. It's fine. I just never remember who the artist is. Oh, well, Pinterest very rarely actually tells you who the original artist is unless they have a watermark on their art. Um, and the kind of art I look at normally don't have watermarks and stuff. Yeah. Um, okay, that flower is basically done. And then we're going to start doing the fishies. I could have added a lot more depth to those flowers Oof, if I just took a little bit more time. I don't even think I finished what I had planned for the pencils. Did I? I don't know. Where's my sketchbook? Oh, uh, it's way over there. I'm going to see if I can get it. Oh. <coughs> Come on. 
got it. Okay. Uh, kind of did it, but I could have done a lot of bit, a better, better job than I did. I'm gonna do that later. Then I'm assuming. Yeah, there's me trying to add some depth of pencil, but I don't know. I was kind of over it because the recording kept bugging out. Not bugging out. My like I record a piece and then I have to throw it onto the PC and then stop and wait and just leave the painting on the table while I waited for my phone to charge or the video to move over to my computer and I got kind of frustrated <laughs> with it so that happened um, I used I think gouache for the fish as well and acrylic white because I don't want to use my white gouache I run through white paint and ink and everything I just overuse white ink and then I used gouache vermilion and crimson for the fish I think I'm assuming I'm guessing I don't I'm not sure um, but I wanted to make the spots a bit different from all the coins I've been looking at so the bottom one I tried to make a little bit more unique than what I'm used to and then the one at the top I just went with plain dot and I know you get them in a lot of different colors but I like the the look of these types of coins. Um, sketchbook is about halfway done, so there will be another sketchbook to us soon. But I think I'll be done with Inktober sketchbook before then, and then so that'll cut be f first, and then this sketchbook when it's done. Yeah, I've got a random number written down. And then I want to start a bullet journal as well, so I can keep track. Cause I'm not gonna start uploading a gazillion videos a week. Um, I'm already exhausted from recording and work and painting and everything. So I think two gaming videos and two art videos a week should be fine. I'm hoping it's already four videos a week. Videos a week. My tongue is twisting in all sorts of ways. For blending of the coys, I kind of let the orange that was left on the brush mix in with the white to create this kind of transparent look. Not that it's very transparent, but you get it. Um, yeah. Then. I think it was about yeah I got really frustrated because the video was gonna end soon so I wanted to like speed through it the recording because I was getting really frustrated I wanted to get done and this was taking way longer than it was supposed to because all in all the recording time took me about an hour and a half so I spent an hour and a half working on the actual design um, painting and then I spent maybe another hour just transferring videos, going back, charging my phone, putting it on record again, and then it it took way longer than it was supposed to. But I'm hoping with the new phone it'll be better because I'm going to get a very big memory card for it so I can just record everything in one go. Um, yeah, I'm just going to... So basically that was it. I just did the scales from here and then added the shading I did on the fishy at the bottom or on the left side of the screen. The final bit of shading I did of watercolour. Um, so it is mixed media. There's literally all sorts of paint on this one page. Um, I really don't know what else to say about this piece. I'm happy with how it turned out. I know I could have done a better job if I'd put in more time and got less frustrated with it. So, but as I said, this was basically just n to get an idea of what I wanted to do for the painting. And like I said, the client didn't want this sort of stony texture behind the fish. He wants a plain black background, which is fine. Um, but I experimented with like four different styles. And I only recorded the one style because. I don't want to do an overload of fish and it's already 
my sketchbook's already an overload of fish. I don't want my first videos to be fish, 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 fish. Already it's fish, fish. And then there's going to be another fishy when the painting's done. So many fishy, fishy, fishies. Fishy. Okay. Phew. And the recording is basically done. Um, I'm going to try and get some, as I said in the beginning, I'm saying it again and again and again. I know I repeat stuff. What was I saying? Oh, right. I'm going to try and get some royalty-free music. Uh, when I upload here, yeah, because then I'm going to go to my mum since she's got internet I don't currently have. Uh, so I'm using hers, and hers is really fast, so I'm not complaining at all. But I'm going to try and get some royalty free music so that I can play some music while it plays, and then you don't have to listen to me rambling all the time. <laughs> yeah, I, I'll figure out where to get some. Maybe I'll ask. I think I know someone that might have some. I'll just make sure about it. And then, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and stick around because I'm going to start uploading every Sunday, um, four videos every Sunday, and then, yeah, hopefully people enjoy it. Um, I'm still learning about YouTube and how to upload and learning about my sketchbook and everything because, as I said, my sketchbook is my calm place. It's a place I don't have to be precise with my lines, I don't have to be on point with everything. It can just be free. Not like at work where I have to be like super concentrated, super on point all the time. So it's not perfect but it's my calm place so I'm happy with it. And I hope someone else will be happy with it too because it's fun to share and I, I love watching people's sketchbook tours and videos of them painting so I thought I'd give it a go as well. And gaming so I couldn't decide which one to do so I decided to do both because I just can't do anything this easy way. It's, I have to make my life so difficult. <laughs> I'm being so dramatic right now. <laughs> I'm gonna go eat now. Food because I like food so much um the video still got like I think two minutes left so I'm just kinda gonna I mean I could sing you a song but I don't want your earphones or speakers to break so that's not gonna happen <laughs> um I'm sorry I'm a very awkward person I don't mean to be, it's just where I am, so fair warning to everybody listening and who decides to listen in the future. And um, yeah, okay, so we're just doing some shadows and some reflections on the water and we are basically done. You see, that's the, 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 I get the fabric band in like massive tubs and they're very potent and they work for sketchbooks. I don't want to go and buy expensive acrylic paint just for my sketchbook so I'll buy a cheap alternative because it's my sketchbook and I'm not going to spend a lot of money on paint that's just going to stay in there. Like I'll use my good paint for pieces I'm really excited about but planning pieces like this Okay, there you go. I <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed and thank you. Have a nice day, evening, whatever it is you are having. Bye.